Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to another video of my Disney series. Hopefully it's not too loud out here, but I'm in the garage. A lot of you guys have asked to see my car organization for our trip to Disney, which is about a 12 or 13 hour drive. And so I thought I would share with you kind of how I have everything organized in the van. And luckily we do not have a stroller at home anymore. So even though we do get one while we're down there, um, I don't have to worry about making room for one anymore. So that's nice. It frees up quite a bit of space. The only thing that's not back here yet is my hardback suitcase, which kind of has the stuff in it that I'm going to need last minute. So my makeup bag and my hair dryer and stuff, because I've got to go wash my hair here pretty soon. But everything else is back here. And I did a couple things differently this year. So I wanted to share what, what I have organized. So the one thing I'm doing that's different this year is for my husband, instead of folding all of his shirts, they're actually in these two garment bags, which I have hung on each side. Um, he's got so many polos and shirts, like a button up with a collar, that's really hard to fold them without them getting wrinkled. So I thought this year I would try hanging them up in garment bags. So just to see how he likes that because he likes to hang his shirts up as soon as he gets in the hotel anyway. So I thought, well, that way they're already going to be hung up and we can just take the garment bag straight to the um, little rod in the back of the room and he can hang up his shirts. He also has his larger suitcase, which is down there, which just has his shorts and his extra shoes and his you know swimming trunks and things like that. On the top here is my oldest daughter's, um, just all her clothes, her robe and everything she's going to need. The bigger, like the medium size one here on the bottom is mine. And then this little tiny one is my seven-year-old. Of course, it's got Loki hair on it. So everybody's clothes and everything are already packed. Over here in this little section, I have my husband's like safari hat. He likes to wear at Animal Kingdom. And then just, I'm wearing my jacket right now. I have the girls' jackets and then all of their sun hats, which I talked about in one of my other videos. I'm not sure if it's gone up or not yet. These are the two sun hats. So we have a couple for my youngest daughter. Actually, got three for her just because she's got one of her own and then two that were her sister. So we've got three of those. And then my oldest daughter's, which is this one. So those are just gonna stay tucked over there. And then once I take my jacket off, I'll put my jacket over there too, because we do still wear our jacket sometimes at Disney. It gets cool at night or if it rains. So that all is over there. This is super important. This is my Bagalini like travel toiletry case. It's packed to the brim. But it's basically everything except my makeup. So all my body products, my facial cleansers and moisturizers and all that stuff is in here. So I do not want to leave the house without that. I have our bag that we take to the parks. I will have a video about that. If it's already up, then you'll find it in the Disney playlist. And here we just have our travel refrigerator and I put it over here because this is where the little plug thingy is to actually turn it on. So we're gonna put some milk in there for the trip. And then I just have some bottled water back here. Like the only time of year we buy bottled water is on vacation so that's there so we've got travel applesauce pouches my youngest daughter still likes these organic baby food pouches so she's got tons of those that's all in this section a bag of organic pretzels my oldest daughter wanted some mandarin oranges they have um, the granola that they like my cereal that i like i got these honey roasted peanuts for my husband as well as these sunflower seeds which we've already broken into um, organic granola bars and I got a bunch of these. There's actually some in my backpack too that I like to eat on the go or at the park sometimes are these little Starkist tuna like lunch packs. They have the mayonnaise and the relish already with them. And then in this pack, I just have things like our extra medicine. So if I need to refill the little bag that I keep in my park bag, I have the refills of that as well as some children's Tylenol, liquid Pepto, some spoons. And then these cups are the Dollar Tree that we use kind of like a bowl we use them for bowls in the car and then also to drink if we want milk so um, those are in there and then my ice pack because my stupid leg has been bothering me lately and I need to ice it sometimes when we're down there so in the back of the van each girl obviously has her own side this is my oldest daughter's side so she's got her she wanted to bring her clipboard so she's got that in her pouch she just has her camera and then her extra camera bag some sunglasses her headphones for the DVD player which we do have the DVD players that came with the car um, and then these Kleenex Go Anywhere packs, which I'm actually going to be doing a video about. And I love these things because they have a ribbon that you can tie them to pretty much anything. So they work perfectly on this hook back here. So each girl has her own pack of tissues. My oldest daughter has hers down here and my youngest daughter has hers kind of over there at the top where she can reach them better. Um, but they have their own tissues. I have some wet ones here in the middle and then my youngest daughter's sunglasses are right there. My oldest daughter, she has a stuffed animal car blanket and then like another pillow she wanted to bring 
And then these, uh, this is her car pack, which you're going to see a bit a video about that too. If it's not up already, it might already be. I don't really know. I don't think it is. But anyway, just check the, the description box because I'm going to have a link to my Disney playlist of, in every video in this series. So that way, if you've missed one of them, you can go back and watch it. But that's all of her car stuff. So it's so funny how nice and organized everything is now. And by the time we get home, it's going to look like a bomb went off back here. And in the middle, I have my youngest daughter's stuff since she can reach it easily more easily up here so she's got a stuffed animal and her little cinnamon bun stuffed animal and she's got a giant pillow thingy and her car blanket and then her car pack so like i put it up here so she can reach it because with this kind of seat and it's got like the i don't know it's harder for her to bend over to the floor so i put hers up here so she could reach it and they're really excited they haven't seen what's in their car packs this year so they're really excited to know what's in there and then on her side just has the tissues, um, her little bag there, which has her stuffed Tsum Tsums in it. I don't know where my oldest daughter's is, but I know she said she was going to bring it. So that is everything in the back seat. Up here in the front where I sit, I like this van because it's got two glove compartments. So in the top one, I just have extra sunglasses, the GPS, which we don't, well, I think sometimes we do use it. It's very old, but we do have a, an old GPS in here. I've also got gum and then a flashlight and some extra batteries for the girls' um, headphones for the DVD players in here just in case theirs run out and we have extra batteries. I have a highlighter and a pen because I brought my planner with me. Some like glasses cleaning cloths, ignore the socks, those are from Sky Zone. Um, an extra glasses case back there. And then um, I brought a lint roller, which is in the back. And these things actually came from a Chick-fil-A kids meal. It's the table topics, but it's basically conversation starters. And I thought that would be something fun to do on the drive with each other. And then also these kit scavenger hunt for kids, like a card game they play in the car. So I brought this just in case. And then this is something I put in there last year. It's got a rubber band stuck to it, so that's nice. But basically it is the calories of stuff that we might find along the way, like restaurants, Wendy's, Panera, McDonald's and Zaxby's um, just so that I can make sure that I'm making good choices. I mean, I'm going to eat what I want at Disney, but I still like to not just go crazy on the way. I actually did a video about that two years ago and one year in particular, I didn't eat any fast food on the, the entire trip there because I had brought things and, you know, eaten from their snacks that we brought and things like that. So, but if we go somewhere and the drive through, this is kind of the calories for that. In the bottom, I don't really need much of this stuff, but I've I have some extra feminine products, actually two bags of those, a first aid kit and some like plastic grocery bags so we can use those for trash if we need to. And then in addition to that, I have my little pink trash can, which is kind of the insert for it is falling apart. But this I keep in my car all the time, but it's really handy, especially on trips for trash. And then right here, I just have my planner and my notebook that I make notes in. I'm planning on trying to do some YouTube notes and stuff like that while I'm on the way, but I usually don't because I get car sick. But I brought it just in case. I have my prescription sunglasses and my regular sunglasses. This is the mount thing that my husband uses if he um, likes to keep his phone mounted up on the window. He uses this to put his phone in. And then in the middle here, we just have tons of DVDs. Some of them are from the house, like we already had, and then some of them are from the library. And that is pretty much the car organization for our trip to Disney. And like I said, the only thing that's really missing is um, I will bring some water bottles, like from the house. Like we usually bring our refillable Disney mugs to have down there on the trip. So I'll bring those closer to time. I'll put some water in those for each girl, and then I'll bring my water bottle. And that way we'll already be down there. And when we get down there, we'll have the Disney mugs to use. Um, when we get there, we usually go to the grocery and get some milk to have in the room. And so we use that milk to put in the mugs to take down to the hotel for breakfast and things like that. So that's not in here yet. And I'm going to make up a couple of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches before we leave so that me and the girls can eat those because we really do not like fast food that much. And other than that, that's pretty much everything. We're just in the awkward stage now where we're like, it's time to go, but it's not time to go yet, and I'm trying to finish up, but I can't yet because everybody has to have their showers, that kind of stuff. But I'm going to go wash my hair so that I can get it dried and pack my hair dryer and my hair tools and stuff like that and get that last suitcase in here, and then we are ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video, getting to see a little bit of how I try to organize the car on a long trip and keep the kids entertained. Make sure if you um, haven't already that you check the description box 
because I will have my Disney playlist linked so that you can make sure you haven't missed any of the videos in this year's Disney series and that you, if you want to catch up on ones I've done in previous years, those will be in that playlist as well. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.